Greg Chatwell. I'm Deputy Chief Midland Police Department. So can you just talk to me about you know what just happened and just how this hostage situation came about? Uh, this kicked off um, last night. Days are kind of running together now. So uh, about a, 11 o'clock. Um, Wednesday night. Be Wednesday night, yes sir. Phone calls were made. Um, the actor in this uh, starts making phone calls to some of the family members uh, making threats to his uh, living girlfriend here and that's what started us out on scene here so um, those threats were confirmed we were able to find that yes she in fact was being held hostage here against her will along with her daughter and um, just a lot of teamwork to get him out everybody in custody and safe so we can confirm that they did live here they do live here that's correct and was that his daughter or stepdaughter i believe it's his stepdaughter but i'm not sure right now you mind if you wait like 10 no that's fine there'll be a lot of equipment moving around yeah those guys have been out here since seven this morning uh, no, since last night, and then they had another. They had shift change about eight this morning, and they yeah. swapped out. So they they've been on station a long time as well. Can you talk about those shifts and just the amount of manpower you guys have had out here all 24 hours? Uh, over the last 24 hours, there's probably been over a um, hundred people uh, being sworn officers and all the support personnel we've had. Millions of dollars worth of equipment. Um, agencies, Midland Police Department, Midland Fire Department, Odessa came in and relieved our folks for a while. Then we had DPS and ending with uh, FBI hostage rescue team. And then regarding the whole mission to get in there, just uh, what made them decide, okay, this is a, the time and opportunity to go in? Um, I'm not going to release a lot of that and talk about a lot of our methods and tactics there, but uh, there was a plan in place and when all those pieces lined up together where they knew they could pull this off safely, they executed the plan. Is there anything you can give us on the victims themselves? Uh, the, just that everybody is safe and well, uh, being checked out by medical personnel now, and um, we back to their families. And he's in custody? He is in custody. Do you know what he could be facing? What charges, maybe? The charges he'd be facing be uh, worse off right now would be aggravated kidnapping uh, times two. And Joe, what does it mean to you just to finally get this over with, being there the past 24 hours? I'm sorry, sir? What does it mean just to get this over with and have all everyone safe? Uh, just a successful mission there. Uh, everybody is safe and actors in custody and um, it just, you know, all the hard work pays off. And no personnel were hurt because we heard that there, what, did he have any weapons or anything on him at the, uh, when you guys uh, went inside? There are weapons inside the apartment, yes sir, but no, there's nobody hurt. Everybody's fine. And he didn't cause any kind of uh, difficulties or anything once y'all did breach? Mm, or, no, yeah. no. So we could say it was a peaceful, he just gave up? and. Like mm, no, he was overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, so th there was a, a plan in place to take him into custody quickly uh, with a lot of diversions and it worked. And have you guys spoke with the apartment uh, managers or anything that regarding this? Uh, we've been trying to get back in contact with him. Yes, we've had a lot of contact with him since this started out. They've been very helpful to us uh, and very understanding and accommodating. And so we're trying to do our handoff now. So this is not our show anymore and people can go back to their lives. And regarding evacuations, are people going to be allowed to go back to the home uh, as soon as tonight or when do we when can you see that? I, I see that happening in the next few hours. We still have cleanup work to do in there. We still are treating that as a crime scene. And as soon as we're done, we'll, people will be able to return home. At any time, did he, did he ever shoot his weapon, the suspect, or were any shots fired? We believe so early on, and that was uh, making sure he had the attention of the officers there uh, and letting us know that he was serious about what was going on. Uh, we did have contact inside later that we knew everybody was safe, but that he was serious, and that's why we took all the measures we've taken today. Without, no. reveal, without revealing your tactics, is it... You know, is, it, is there a point where like the safety is priority, so you got to act quickly, or just does it always lead up to the safety of the hostages? The safety of the folks inside is always what drives this and what moves us to go. Um, you you have risk and mitigating factors that you're trying to offset all the time, and and working your plan. And although it's unforeseen circumstances, just uh, just talk about the teamwork that all the departments and law enforcement came together to get this done. That is a fact. Uh, we're lucky here. Uh, we work closely with our neighbors. We've called in assets uh, they brought in out of uh, El Paso. Um, we 
FBI coming in out of DC. Um, just everybody we called on to help came out as fast as they could, brought all the help they could bring, lots of equipment, and we had a successful mission today. Thank you. Was the team out of uh, D.C., was, was that the FBI profiling teams, uh, the hostage profilers? And they're not profiling teams. That's a hostage rescue team. Okay. So, yeah, so it was they're tactical team. teams, yes. And just regarding the origins of this, uh, do you have any information on how this all started, how this all began? This started off as a domestic disturbance inside there. And that's what led us to begin on Wednesday. Did you talk to any neighbors about the about the circumstance that just went and went, went? No, we haven't. Chief, just to review, was the round shot tonight? Was it shot uh, last night? Last night. Okay. And there was only there was an adult woman and a child inside the apartment. That is correct. There wasn't a second adult. Woman? No. Okay. No, he spoke of one, but there's not. Okay. Okay, so we can confirm just him, one woman, his girlfriend, and, the, the and a child. That's right. Do we know the, the age of the child, Major? Nine, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the age of the man? I don't know. 